you need to be clicking, Ursula? No. So, let's have a look at data visualizations. So, if we look at the amount of data that we generate, 2.5 exabytes, that's a lot of information. And it creates a daily, daily amount. And the bulk of it here is created by individuals. And email is by far the largest source or generation of, of data. Now this will be unstructured data in terms of being text and discussions and, and messages and things like that. So that's what is it spam mail? Hmm? How much of it is spam mail? Well, I don't know. Probably quite a few, actually. That is like 50% of something. Unsolicited email is probably going to be a large part of it. Mm. Absolutely. Uh, I have seen somewhere what the record, what the university um, email, but a very large proportion of it is spam. I mean, only a small proportion of it is actually useful information. So, we have all this unstructured data, email, and then we have YouTube, Facebook, Twitter generate, generate, come on, generate smaller amounts of data, and that generated by companies is actually not that, compared to the whole amount, is not that, is not that great. But we're generating a large amount of data, so we need to pick out from these large sources what might be useful to us and then visualise it in some way. The screen's not quite on there. Never mind. So, we want to, we want to use the visualisations to, to, to sort of try and find these smart insights, if you like. So we want the, da the data set to change your mindset. And we're going to look at Rosling. Uh, do you want to get these up actually on your screens? It might be a bit easier. Just, just spend a minute or two getting this up because we're going to miss a little bit of a slide. It's going to be a nuisance when I play the video, never mind. Just have to bear that. Just have to go on that. Yeah, should be able should to change the screen, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd like to slide here. Okay, we're all there. Okay, I think we're all there now. So let's just just check what's missing on your on your screen. So there are a couple of people introduced you to early on. Hans Rosling here and uh, Tuft Edward Tuft. We'll come come across those two again fairly shortly. And they are saying to us, we've got all this data, but we need to process it, analyze it, present it in some way, so that we can make 
correct decisions about things, make smart, in, smart insights, if you like. And uh, Tuft is saying there are right ways and wrong ways to show data displays that reveal the truth and displays that don't. So we need to be able to have the, the uh, knowledge, in, knowledge and expertise and uh, guidelines in order to be able to do this, display this information correctly. So we're going to look uh, talk about Hans Rosling. He's a very influential data visualizer. Is that the right term? Not sure, but he's um, produced. So, well, in fact, Ted, Ted, Tim Berners Lee last week in his video talked about uh, Hans Rosling and his ideas and his use of technology to create to create visualizations that actually are engaging and meaningful and uh, make you think about what what they're doing. So. I'm going to play you this one from the TED Talks again. Very useful source of, of talks. So let's have a look at this. slightly because I don't think I need to run this while that's